हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इट इज द सेकेंड डे ऑफ थर्ड लेसन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट फ्रॉम साइंस पार्ट फर्स्ट वॉट वी डिस्कस सो फार फर्स्ट वी आर डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज अ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन थ्रू अ मेटेलिक कंडक्टर और इट इज ऑल्सो डिफाइंड एज इट इज अ फ्लो ऑफ अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज passing through a metallic conductor in unit time that means 1 second then again we have discussed what is the charge on one electron or proton proton having the positive charge and electron having the negative charge that is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb charge then what is in the coulomb charge one coulomb charge is equal to What is togetherly charge on 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons? That means 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons togetherly holding that much charge. Then we discussed current is equal to charge upon time. That is I is equal to Q divided by T. Current is measured in ampere. SI unit of current is ampere. SI unit of charge is Q coulomb and SI unit of time is second. So what is the? So what is one ampere? One ampere is if one coulomb of charge is passing through metallic conductor per second, that is within one second, then the current considered as a one ampere in the circuit. That much part we have discussed in the last video. Today we are discussing some more information about. Electric current. First of all, some numericals. See, for example, what is there? If 30 coulomb charge flow through a conductor for five second, then calculate current in the circuit. See what is given for us. They have given charge. How much charge is flowing through a conductor? That is 30 coulomb. Then second, this charge is has taken time for half of five second. so time is 5 second and what to find calculate current in the circuit that is current is equal to i is equal to question mark that is we have to find then how we can solve this one see solution we have what we have we have in one formula what is formula current i is equal to charge q divided by time Which value is we having? We having Q. Value of Q is 30 divided by time is 5. So if you solve this one, we are getting answer 6. But coulomb divided by second is ampere. So current is equal to 6 ampere. That is your answer. See, I have changed. one example within the first one and made the second example what is the difference within that one a 30 coulomb charge say flow through conductor for 5 minute here is the change in the first example there was a 5 second but i have converted it into 5 minutes then calculate the current in the circuit so what are the changes given what is given charge charge flowing through conductor q is equal to 30 coulomb that is same but time is now 5 minutes we want to solve all this one in si unit so minute is not a si unit of a time it is a second so the minutes value we have to convert first into second so multiply it by 60 5 is a 30 10 extra that is 300 second in the first example there was only 5 second now there is a 300 second because of that 5 minutes so what to find current again so again solution is the same we have current is equal to charge upon time that is equal to charge is now only 30 coulomb but time is not a 5 minutes that is 300 seconds so we are getting the final value Three divided by thirty, that is equal to one divided by ten, and so it is zero point one. And so 
as it is current, the SI rate of current is ampere. So, zero point one ampere. That is your final answer. One more example for you. That is the third example. See here. If ten ampere current is in the circuit and it is open for seven minutes, that you have put on the button for seven minutes. And for which current in the circuit is 10 ampere, then calculate the amount of charge passing through the circuit. So what is given for us? Current is given. Current is equal to I is equal to 10 ampere, and time is equal to T is equal to 7 minutes. See 7 minutes. So first we have to calculate it in seconds. So here charge to find solution. We have Current is equal to charge divided by time. That is equal to charge is. We have to find so do as it is. Time is there. Time is seven minutes and current is here ten ampere. So we have to change this value or not. So ten is equal to Q divided by seven into sixty to convert it in seconds. So now it will convert into seconds. So ten is equal to Q divided by four twenty. So here cross multiplication. So Q is equal to four hundred and twenty into ten. And so final answer is Q is equal to four two zero the four thousand and two hundred as the charge unit is coulomb. So therefore. Charge is equal to four thousand two hundred coulomb. That is the final answer. After solving these three examples, one more point we should discuss, and that point is what is SI unit of a current? As we have discussed earlier, SI unit of current is ampere, and the unit given is a divided by a. But what are the smaller units? If you want to measure a very small current, then I can say units are there. See, what is the first one? Small units. First is milliampere. So, what is milliampere? When one ampere is divided by one thousand, that means one thousandth part of one ampere is equal to one milliampere. That means ten is to minus three ampere is equal to one milliampere. Again, do we have the small units? Yes, I get one small unit we have. That is microampere. Micro means one thousandth part of that milliampere. That means one milliampere get divided by one thousand. Then the one part of one thousand that is called as microampere. So how it shall be expressed? One milliampere divided by one thousand means ten raised to minus three. Ampere divided by 1000 means 10 raised to negative 6 ampere is equal to 1 milli microampere. Then, how we can measure this current in the circuit? One device is there. See here, the current is measured by an instrument, and the instrument's name is ammeter. Then, this ammeter is always connected in series in the circuit. How to connect in the series? What is my series connection? We will discuss. Only keep it in mind that ammeter is always connected in series. We have discussed flow of electron is called as current. But do you know why these electrons are flowing, or why electrons are moving from one place to another place? It is moving because of potential difference, and so within this part we are discussing potential and potential difference. See, one good example is in front of you. There are two jars. One is filled and kept little higher than the ground, and one is little filled and kept on the ground. And both the jars are joined with the pipe, but pipe having the clamp. Clamp raises the water to flow or to go within the second can. What is here? 
If you measure the distance here from the ground, suppose this x, x distance is there, it is an upper level of a water. But when you are concentrating on this level of water, this level of water is y. This one is y. In between x and y, which one is greater? y is greater. So, as y is greater, greater than height increases, potential energy also increases. So, which water level, suppose this water level is A or in jar A and this water level in jar B, which having the more potential level or more level? That is A. If you remove the clamp, then what will happen? The pipe get open and as pipes get open, water starts to flow from bottle A or jar A to jar B. So see here, we are getting here flow of water or not. So why we have got this flow? We have got this flow because difference in the level. And how much will be we are getting this flow? Or how much time we are getting the flow? Till the water level get equal. After getting this water all in jar B, the level starts to rise here. And here, level starts to decrease. And at one point, we will get both jars having the equal level. That means, Y starts to decrease, X starts to increase. And when value of X and Y is exactly equal, then we will not get the flow of water. So, see, what should be there, what should not be there. When both the points having the same potential level, current will not flow. Can teacher teach to teacher? No. And can student learn from the student? No. We having the difference in the level. So you are coming to the school and we are teaching here. We also are having some languages, so we are also coming here. So like this one, wherever difference is level, difference level is there, then there only the flow is there. So what is the relation here? Flow of water is totally depend on water level. Wherever there is a difference in level, then only we are getting the flow. So like this also, it is applicable to the current. When current flow, when there is a difference in the potential and that we are going to see it now. So, what we learned so far, we are using this information to get the potential difference. See, there are two bodies. This one is a body A, this one is a body B that are positively charged. Last minute we have discussed how positive charge get developed because of skipping of electron. If atom is losing electron, number of photon increases and the object or atom, anything that is converted into positively charged. And when any object or any atom getting or receiving the electron as compared to protons, negative number that is electrons increases and the whole object converts into negatively charged body. So, two bodies are there. Body A is a positively charged and body B is negatively charged. And the object which is positively charged is considered as a high electric potential. There, high electric level considered only water level. Now, what will happen? Low electric potential who having negatively charged object having. But see here, what is going to happen here? It is considered as sir, positively charged flow from a point of a higher potential to a point of a lower potential. But now here, when we consider a higher potential and the lower potential and both objects are connected by wire. See, it is a field force. So, as soon as they are getting wire in between these two points, point A, point B, object A, object B, body A, body B, then potential, because of this potential difference, it having the higher potential, it having the lower potential, then electron starts to flow, the extra electron starts to flow towards negative one, positively charge. And, so, 
But one change is there. While considering or discussing the example of water, here water starts to flow from higher level to lower level. But here, though it is higher and this one is a lower, electrons, electrons are starts to move from lower level to higher level and so current is flowing from negative to positive. But one problem is that, see, when we having the higher potential and lower potential objects, then the potential difference get created and because of this potential difference or a level difference in the level of electric potential, electron starts to flow and we are getting the current in the wire. So, see, the device used is cell. This is a circuit or conducting wire and we have applied one key here to stop and start the current. So here, one end of a wire, that is point A, is connected to positive terminal of a cell. And this one, point B, that is a negative terminal of cell, as soon as you start the key, because of difference in the pot potential of a cell, positive negative, electron starts to run through the wire towards the positive terminal of the battery. Though the electrons are flowing, see, electrons are flowing from point B to A, that is low potential to high potential, current can be shown as a positive to negative by this so. See, actually we are getting the flow from negative to positive, but we are representing within the circuit diagram current positive to negative. Why? Because when this current has discovered, there was a not an invention of electron. That is, current has invented before the invention of electrons. And at that time, because actually what is there, because of that current is current was there, it was not known. And so, as all the energies are flowing from higher level to lower level, positive is higher and negative is lower, and so it is considered positive to negative and that is the one minute change we have to keep in mind though the electrons are flowing from lower potential difference to higher potential difference that actually current is flowing from lower potential to higher potential that is negative to positive we have to do the representation by positive to negative.